Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Implement a subnetted IPv6 addressing scheme. Before coming to it, friends, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. And also, if you like to get more technical contents or if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Link I given in the description below. Now coming back to our packet tracer activity, uh, here we can see our addressing table which is incomplete. Here we can see device details, interface, IPv6 address. So we have to complete this IPv6 address column for these devices R1, R2. And here we can see link local address. Here we are going to determine IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. Then we will configure IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs. Finally, we will verify IPv6 connectivity. Coming to the scenario, network administrators must know how to implement IPv6 in their networks. You have been asked to set up a network for uh, use by the sales staff for a customer demonstration. The network will use a series of consecutive IPv6 subnets for four LANs. Your job is to assign the subnets to the LANs and configure the routers and PCs with IPv6 addressing. Make certain to configure all the necessary components for IPv6 routing on the routers. Now coming to the instructions. Step 1. Determine IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. You have been given the IPv6 subnet 2001-db8-ACAD colon 00 c8 double colon slash 64 as the starting subnet you will need four more subnets for each network that is required increment the subnet addresses consecutively by one to arrive at the four required subnets then complete the table below here is our subnet table in our spreadsheet and here we can see for this r1 uh, LAN, they are given this address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 00z8 double colon slash 64. Okay, here we have to uh, increment the subnet to by 1. And here we can see the address. And here its uh, uh, network address is 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 00z8. So here we have to increment this uh, digit. So we will copy this IPv6 address and we will paste here and this uh, last digit 8 we will uh, change to 9. Now for this R2 G0 slash 0 LAN we will use uh, we will increment by 1 so we have to increment this 9 uh, by 1 so we will get 10 but we have to represent this as hexadecimal so this uh, 10 we have to represent as a now we have to go for other uh, subnet we can do that now this uh, a becomes b and uh, here it becomes c now coming to step 2 Configure IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs. Complete the addressing table above to use as a guide for configuring the devices. So assign the first IP address uh, in the subnet to the router LAN interfaces. Now here we can see our addressing table and uh, uh, here we can see the IPv6 address for the interface G0 slash 0 in this device R1. Now we will assign uh, the first IP address uh, for the interface G0 slash 1 uh, for this device R1. For that we will go to our subnet table and here we can see R1 G0 slash 1 LAN. So we will copy this IPv6 address and we will paste here and here we will uh, use the first IPv6 address from this subnet. It's 1. Next is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see R1 to R2 link network. 
so here uh, we will uh, copy this address but before that we will go to our activity and we will see here the instruction for the connection between the routers assign the first address in the subnet to r1 and for the connection between the routers assign the second address in the subnet to r2 yes we can do that again coming back to our uh, subnet table okay we already copied this ipv6 address coming to addressing table here we will use the first ipv6 address it's one then for this serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 in this device r2 we will use the second ipv6 address it's uh, double colon 2 now we will go for the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 on this device r2 coming to our subnet table here we can see that address we will copy it coming to our addressing table and here we will use the first ipv6 address it's uh, double colon 1 and for the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on device r2 it's here we will uh, copy this ipv6 address okay and coming to our addressing table here we will uh, use that first ipv6 address it's 1 and now here we can see our addressing table is completed now uh, we will do the configurations so assign the first ip address in the subnet to the router lan interfaces okay first of all uh, here we will assign for this interface a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 here we can see that interface and this is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and this is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 also we have to assign the link local addresses as designated in the addressing table so here we can see that a link local address for these interfaces uh, for the routers r1 and r2 so first of all we will configure for the interface so g0 slash 0 we will copy this ipv6 address and uh, coming to our r1 we'll go to cli enable configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set ipv6 address we already copied that okay then press enter now we will set ipv6 address fe80 double colon 1 as a link local address now we will give no shutdown command now we will go to uh, the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see its ipv6 address we will copy that and coming to our router r1 we will exit then we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 then we will assign ipv6 address we already copied that and it's here then press enter now we will give ipv6 address fe80 double colon 1 as its link local now no shutdown next we will assign ipv6 address for our serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 so we will copy this ipv6 address and coming to r1 okay we will exit then we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 address it's here press enter ipv6 address fe80 double colon 1 as a link local then no shutdown command now we will assign ipv6 addresses for uh, the device r2 First of all, we will assign uh, for the interface G0 slash 0. We will copy this IP address and coming to R2. So here we will verify the interfaces. This is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. This is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0. And here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. So coming to R2, enter, enable, configure terminal. We will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we will assign ipv6 address so we already copied that okay then press enter then ipv6 address 
f e 80 double colon 2 as link local now we will give no shutdown command next we will assign uh, for the interface uh, g0 slash 1 we will copy this ipv6 address and coming to r2 we will exit then we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will assign ipv6 address it's here okay now we will assign ipv6 address fe80 double colon 2 as a link local then we will give no shutdown command finally coming to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, we will copy its ipv6 address okay and coming to r2 we will go to that interface exit then we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we can assign ipv6 address it's here press enter now we will assign ipv6 address fe80 double colon 2 as a link local then no shutdown command now uh, we are going to set all four hosts to automatically configure with ipv6 addresses so first of all we will go to pc1 then the desktop tab we will go to ip configuration and here we can see auto config Now we will go to other PCs and we will do the same step coming to PC2 IP configuration auto config coming to PC3 IP configuration auto config and finally our PC4. Now coming to these PCs uh, here we cannot see any IPv6 address or IPv6 gateway assigned uh, because we have to enable uh, unicast or routing in these routers so just we have to keep in mind uh, by default routers are not forwarding ipv6 packets to forward this ipv6 packets uh, we have to give that command we'll go to r1 then we will exit in global configuration mode we, we have to give ipv6 unicast routing now coming to r2 we will go to cli and uh, here we have to give okay we'll exit and in global configuration mode we have to give ipv6 unicast routing now we will go to all the pcs and we'll verify its ipv6 address so coming to pc1 ip configuration and yes so here we can see its ipv6 address its prefix and its ipv6 gateway coming to pc2 we can see its ipv6 configuration okay now coming to pc3 okay it's done and finally coming to pc4 yes it's done coming to the last step verify ipv6 connectivity the pcs should be able to ping each other if addressing has been configured properly okay we will uh, do this uh, uh, connectivity test okay we will uh, ping from pc1 to other pcs so we will get the ipv6 address of pc2 coming to command prompt here we will give ipv6 config And here we can see its uh, link local IPv6 address. Also, we can see IPv6 address. We will copy this IPv6 address. And now coming to PC1 command prompt. Here we will uh, ping to that address, PC2 address. And here we can see we get the replies. Now we will get the IPv6 address of PC3 coming to command prompt IPv6 config and we will get its IPv6 address 
Okay, it's here. We will copy this address. Now coming to PC1, we will ping to PC3. Okay, it's here. And here we can see we get the replace. Finally, we will ping to PC4. Coming to PC4, command prompt. Uh, here we will give ipv6 config and we will copy its ipv6 address ipv6 address we will copy it then again coming back to our pc1 we will ping to that pc4 and here we can see we get the replies Okay, in this video, uh, we discussed the CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity implement a submitted IPv6 addressing scheme. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Link I given in the description below. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.